besides being two of the best footballers in the world today. Enric and Lamine Yamal are two young athletes who know how to enjoy their fortunes. But have you ever wondered who has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between Enric and Lamine Yamal. Cars There's no doubt that both stars like to enjoy beautiful vehicles, but which of them has the best car collection? Enric, for example, although he hasn't yet obtained his driving license, has already made a name for himself when it comes to cars. For example, when he gave his ex-girlfriend a white Chevrolet Onyx. It's a very reliable and stylish popular car, with a modern design and safety features to help the driver when driving. And it's no wonder that a car like this new one can cost upwards of $17,000. Enric has also been clicked with a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, a van designed to carry large loads, or a large number of passengers depending on the configuration. The van can be easily customized to suit the needs of each owner. And for those who want to acquire this robust vehicle, you need to shell out around $54,000. The most luxurious car Enric was photographed in, on the other hand, is a Porsche 911 Turbo, a car coveted by many car enthusiasts. This super machine has excellent performance capabilities, reaching a top speed of 198 miles per hour and accelerating from 0 to 60 miles in just 2.8 seconds. And to enjoy such a sports car, you need to invest around $230,000. Likewise, although he is underage and doesn't yet have a driving license, Lamine Yamal also enjoys imposing vehicles. Yamal has, for example, been seen with what looks like an Audi A3, a sleek-looking sedan that in its most modern version can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 4.8 seconds. And it's no wonder that this sophisticated automobile costs an average of $36,000. When it comes to training, La Mine Yamal has already been clicked a few times in a Q Performenter, a large car equipped with driver assistance technology. This vehicle is also a great choice for those who like performance, equipped with hybrid engines that provide up to 390 horsepower, as well as accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.2 seconds. And that's probably why this car has an average price of $59,000. There's also speculation that the athlete's car collection includes a Range Rover, a very modern luxury SUV, which is very popular with celebrities because it offers more comfort during journeys, as it has a very spacious and cozy interior. To buy a vehicle of this model, you need to pay around $80,000. The most expensive car believed to have been driven is a McLaren Artura, a high-performance super sports car. This machine stands out for its high-performance capacity, as its hybrid system provides it with more than 600 horsepower, as well as impressive acceleration, managing to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 3 seconds. And to give you an idea of the price, this modern vehicle can cost more than $250,000, but it's likely that La Mine Yamal has only taken this super machine for a spin. And since Yamal has been spotted with more expensive cars, it's he who wins this round. Score one for her. Real Estate When it comes to beautiful places to live, both players don't skimp. But who lives in the most luxurious property? Enric lived in the early years of his life, for example, in the district of Suazul in Valparaiso, a humble region in the state of Goiás. Today, the young Brazilian star is believed to live in the capital of Sao Paulo, one of the most popular metropolises in the world, which stands out for its rich cultural variety and architectural diversity, especially with its imposing skyscrapers that attract a lot of attention at any time of day. In an interview with the Globo Portal, it was possible to find out a little about the facilities in the luxurious apartment where the football star lives with his family. There is, for example, a beautiful living room with a TV, an elegant bookcase with decorative ornaments and a large drawing of a lion covering an entire wall, while in the next room, there is a photograph of the player, who is the pride of his family. The room also includes a breakfast table next to the balcony, which has a spectacular view of the city. And although the other rooms in the apartment weren't shown, they must be just as impressive, with everything Enric and his family need to live comfortably. And although it's not known how much the place cost the player, it certainly wasn't small money. In addition to this property, Enric is also expected to soon acquire another property to live in the Spanish capital, as he will be joining Real Madrid. And although it's not yet known where Enric will stay, he may settle in places close to the club's training center, such as La Moralija, where his Brazilian teammates Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr. live in Madrid. 
Yamal lived there for part of his childhood. In a humble apartment in the Rocafonda neighborhood in the municipality of Mataro, Spain. And although he no longer lives there, he has paid homage to the area a few times by scoring goals, drawing with his fingers the figure 304, the last digits of the neighborhood's postal code. As a result, he is much loved by the residents of Rocafonda. Another place where the player lived for most of his professional career was Barcelona's La Mesa Academy, located in the Ciutat Esportiva Sant Joan Despi. Opened in 2011, only the best athletes have access to a place of residence at the facility, which has five floors and around 64,500 square feet of interior space. The place has plenty of amenities for the stars, such as an air-conditioned reading room, large dining areas, various game rooms, cozy living spaces and, of course, each athlete's room, which has beds, study areas and beautiful views of the outside. In addition to all this, there are spaces dedicated to the club and the players who have played there, while outside there are the exclusive Barcelona training pitches. And to give you an idea of the price, the construction of La Mesa was estimated at 11 million euros, while the St. Joan Despi complex as a whole cost an impressive 68 million euros. According to some sources, La Mine Yamal still lives most of his time in the academy, but with all the money he's currently earning from his new contract, he should make his first real estate purchase soon, if he hasn't already done so off the market. Since we don't know the value of the player's properties, let's call this round a draw. Points for both of them. Exaggerated Luxuries Despite being two young athletes, they already have the money to buy almost anything they want. But who has the most exaggerated expenses? Yamal, for example, always likes to be well-dressed and doesn't skimp on accessories when it comes to his outfits. One of the items Yamal invests most in are shoes, and he has been seen wearing Nike Vapor 15 Academy Mercurial Dream Speed, which cost around $86. On his Champions League debut, the star was also seen wearing a customized Nike Mercurial Vapor 15, and to give you an idea of the price, the model on which his boot is based costs around $196. La Mine Yamal is also a Lionel Messi fan, and just like his childhood idol, he recently signed a big deal with Adidas. From now on, he will be wearing the Adidas X Crazy Fast Messi Spark Gen 10S boots in competitions, making him the only athlete apart from Messi himself to wear the exclusive model in matches. And it's no wonder that this boot costs a whopping $260. During training, the player was seen wearing a variation of the X Crazy Fast line in white, which also costs an estimated $260. But La Mine Yamal's luxury items aren't limited to football boots. He's been spotted wearing a number of expensive items, such as a white shirt from gallery department costing $253, nylon jacket with Studio Pro headphones for $430, and a shirt and sneakers from Landvin, which together are worth more than $1,490. The Spanish star also invests in beautiful watches, such as his Cernucci Iced Watch, an elegant accessory to wear on any occasion, produced with top-of-the-range materials by the Cernucci Jewelry Company. It's a stainless steel watch in cool tones, which gives it greater durability and resistance to water and knocks. And to splurge on a watch like this, you need to shell out more than $660. Enric isn't far behind. The youngster is known for being well-dressed and elegant on any occasion, always wearing accessories and clothes worth a fortune. The star is a big fan of sneakers, for example, and has a collection that already includes some very expensive models, such as Nike SB Dunk Low Pro St. Patrick's Day $460, Sky Blue Nike Dunk for $550, Prada Downtown Green and White $1,240, Prada Milano in white leather for $1,300, Louis Vuitton Trainer Blue for $1,500, and even an off-white X Nike Air Force One Low Green Brooklyn, capable of attracting attention for its bright green leather aesthetic. And to give you an idea of the price, top-of-the-line shoes like these can cost upwards of $3,000. The most expensive sneaker Enric wore was at the ESPN Awards Ceremony. It's a Louis Vuitton Trainer Maxi 1 ACOJ, an elegant black sneaker covered in sparkling crystals with reinforced finishes and textile laces. The sneaker bears the signature of the French company, and it's no wonder that it costs a whopping 5,000 euros or more than $5,400.
When it comes to outfits, Hendrik has already been clicked during an interview wearing a Louis Vuitton ensemble worth around $5,600. On his first call-up to the Brazilian national team, the youngster opted for a non-basic look by Gucci, which is valued at $8,430. At another presentation, the star appeared in a more casual Louis Vuitton ensemble, which costs a total of over $13,000. The most expensive outfit he's worn so far is another Louis Vuitton set, this time in dark colors, which costs more than $22,000. The player also loves to wear high-value watches, such as his Rolex GMT Master II Eve Rose, a 40mm waterproof accessory featuring a black dial with a rotating bezel. And to get an elegant watch like the player's, you have to shell out more than $55,000. As well as spending a lot of money on his appearance, Enric also knows how to enjoy life. For example, he has already rented a very luxurious mansion to have fun with his friends. The cleanly designed property has a living room, a kitchen with plenty of space for movement and an elegant dining area, which integrates a media room with a huge TV and large sofas for relaxing, where Enric took the opportunity to play a game of soccer with his friends. There is also an office, several cozy bedrooms, luxurious bathrooms with similar configurations, among many other amenities. Outside, the mansion has a swimming pool in the backyard, as well as a dining area next to a small garden. And although the cost of renting this property has not been disclosed, there's no doubt that it must have cost a pretty penny. And since Enric seems to spend more, he wins this round. Point for the Brazilian! Luxury Transport When it comes to traveling, both players are very comfortable. But who has the best means of transport? Enric, for example, has already been photographed in a Dassault Falcon 8X a long-range aircraft known for its impressive intercontinental performance. This luxury jet is over 80 feet long, with a modernized cabin that offers exceptional comfort for up to eight passengers. And that must be why this aircraft can be chartered for around $11,500, while a new model costs around $58 million. However, Enric must not have spent anything to enjoy this aircraft, as it belongs to Leila Pereira, president of Palmeiras. And as well as traveling in beautiful aircraft, Enric also loves to enjoy life on the high seas aboard boats, a luxury that probably doesn't come cheap. Yamal, on the other hand, uses beautiful aeroplanes. Along with other Barcelona players, he has been seen getting off an Airbus A330, which belongs to the airline Air Europa. This is a large twin-engine aircraft designed for long-range travel. At 191 feet long, the aircraft can carry more than 400 people in its original configuration, but the model used by the players is probably adapted to offer maximum comfort to each one. And to rent an aircraft like this, you need to pay a lot of money. According to some sources, the charter price of an Airbus A330 can cost more than $30,000 for each hour of flight. But it's not just Yamal who enjoys good aircraft. Yamal also loves to spend his vacations on the high seas and has been seen on beautiful boats that certainly can't be cheap. And because they don't own any of these luxurious modes of transport, let's call it a draw. Points for both. Net worth. Everyone knows that both players are currently earning a lot of money. But which one has the biggest net worth? Like most footballers, Lamine Yamal has also worked hard to see his income increase. The amount he pocketed playing for Barcelona's youth team is not publicly disclosed, but considering that he was one of the most promising youth team players in recent years, he was probably on a good salary. Currently, La Mine Yamal has renewed his contract with Barcelona until 2026, and according to the website Capology, he is receiving a salary of more than $34,000 a month, which equates to a sum in excess of $1,780,000 a year. That's not counting bonuses, which should boost his earnings even further. And it looks like this huge income will only increase. That's because the player is only 16 years old, and to give you an idea of his value, his current contract with the club includes a record release clause of over $1 billion. And according to data from CIES Football Observatory, he is the most expensive young player in the world, with an estimated market value of $145 million. What's more, thanks to his excellent performances in Spain's top soccer competitions, the star is also becoming something of a sports celebrity. On his Instagram, for example, he has more than 7 million followers. 
where he takes advantage of his fame to sign partnerships with famous companies, such as Adidas, with whom he has signed a long-term contract that will probably earn him large sums of money. And because Lamine Yamal is currently only 16 years old and has only recently started his professional career, it is not known exactly how much his fortune is worth, but he certainly already has a few million in his account. Endrick, on the other hand, it's not entirely clear how much he was paid playing for Palmeiras' youth team, as the figures aren't disclosed, but as he was one of the main junior players, he probably had a good income. After signing his contract with the club's first team, some sources estimate that Endrick received around €15,600 a month in his first season, which, added to some bonuses, earned him €210,000 in one year. And although that's an excellent salary for such a young player, that's not all the money he's likely to receive from mid-2024. That's because since the end of 2022, it has been announced that he would join Real Madrid when he turns 18, in a transfer deal speculated to be worth around 70 million euros. And according to some rumors, in his initial contact with the Spanish club, Endrick will receive a salary of around 2 million euros a year, plus some performance bonuses. Considering the player's other sources of income, his earnings are even higher. The player's main source of income off the pitch is through advertising partnerships. As one of the young athletes who has stood out the most playing for Brazil, Endrick is becoming a celebrity in the world of soccer, amassing more than 10 million followers on his Instagram. Among the companies that have invested in the player's image are Cool Magazine, Torcida Panini, among others. And to give you an idea of how much Enric earns, with Neo Saldina alone, the drug company for which he is an ambassador, he is earning more than $2.2 million over a five-year contract. Another of the biggest companies sponsoring Enric is New Balance, a sports footwear and apparel brand, which has a contract with him until 2028. Before signing with New Balance, Enric had a contract with Nike since he was 15 years old, but he chose not to renew with the sports giant so that he could be the main soccer star for its competitor, to produce exclusive products that are sure to bring him great profits. Enric is also represented by Rock Nation Sports, a company run by Jay-Z that manages the careers of many athletes, and he will probably appear more and more in major advertising campaigns. As he is a fairly young player, it is not known exactly how much net worth Enric has already accumulated, but according to some sources, it is estimated that he has a fortune of around 12 million euros, a figure that is likely to increase considerably over the next few years. Considering that Enric has more sources of income and possibly a bigger fortune, he wins this last round. At the end of this fight, we have three points for Lamine Yamal against four points for Enric, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.